they'll be able to uh, check it out at a later date. So, do you, want, uh, do you want us to mute, Travis? Uh, you can, or uh, as long as there's no feedback, it's okay. And okay. feel free to ask any question at any time. Okay. Um, so we have with us today John Burke from MedHab. Uh, going to be talking about my notify, uh, which you all obviously know because you signed up and you're here. So. Without further ado, take it away, John. Thank you very much, Travis. Well, we obviously are, are so appreciative of the Village to Village Network, and we attended the conference in Chicago of, uh, last month and really met hundreds of very, very uh, interesting and honorable people who are trying so hard to work with all the seniors. And, and we have uh, uh, some information to share, some, some data, some statistics on falls and seniors, and then also share a bit about our product and how we believe it's a it's a real nice fit for the village to village network so as we go through the slides and share that please feel free at any point in time to stop me and ask me questions um, uh, the most important thing that i think we all do know is that seniors are certainly at risk of falling but when you really dig into the numbers it's it's almost startling that one in four seniors will fall this year and, and even more so, 50% of people over 80 years old will fall. And most of them do fall at home or around the home. And it results in more than 3 million uh, emergency room visits every year. And falls are the leading cause of what we say is unintentional deaths in seniors. And, and a, couple things to, a couple points to know here is that when someone falls and they fall at home and they cannot get to a phone or do not have any kind of a fall detection device and they lay there, many, many things can go wrong as they continue to lay in place. Uh, we've heard stories of people literally laying on the floor with either a broken hip or a broken arm for as much as 24 hours and so many things can go wrong at that point in time. It's, it's just a critical, critical time. Every minute does count when, when a senior falls. And what we also found, which is so fascinating, is that most, and I do mean more than like 97% of seniors, do not have any fall detection device whatsoever. There's many different kinds. There's probably 30 or so companies in the business of of selling various products, but most seniors don't have one at all. And, and, and in interviewing them and asking the questions, they'll tell you that they're very bulky, they're uncomfortable, the little lanyard with the big red button around their neck. Uh, many will tell you that they don't work outside. You literally have to be within uh, ear uh, sight of the box on the phone, on the counter. Um, and, and what typically happens with most of the products is that the person will push the button after they've fallen. Uh, the phone will have a voice on the box on the counter in the kitchen typically will have a voice asking them if they've fallen. If they're able to answer and say they have fallen, then they will immediately notify 911 who will immediately dispatch an ambulance. And, and curiously, it takes on average in America 19 minutes for that ambulance to arrive to their home, uh, which means that 50% uh, of the time it takes even longer than that. Uh, we've spoken and interviewed several people with ambulance companies and EMTs, and they'll often tell you that the minute they pull up in front of someone's home, two things happen. Both neighbors from either side come running out the door. They said, uh, we had no idea she had fallen or he had fallen. and We could have been here within seconds of that fall had we known. But far and away, the one thing that we've learned, uh, why seniors do not have a fall detection device around their neck, is that most of them cannot afford the ongoing monthly fee. In most cases, that monthly fee for service for monitoring the machine is uh, $49 per month. In some cases, it's higher, $69 or $79 a month. We've heard stories of people that have had a device around their neck for years, have never pushed the button, and have paid uh, upwards of $700 a year for that service. So uh, as you'll see from our product, we believe that uh, that's something that needed to be addressed. We are proud and honored to be working with Village to Village Network because we both believe the same thing, and that is that seniors not only 
want to age in place, but it's better for them to age in place at home. Uh, we've been sharing our product and our story with many of the people of the various village to village networks. And as I'm sure that uh, you people have in your villages, you have volunteers who want to help, who want to be there in the event of a fall of anyone else that's a member of one of your networks. Um, with our product, we're going to show you in a couple of minutes uh, a little bit of a, a TV commercial that we've created for it. But one of the beautiful things about this product is that uh, you can actually create your own circle of notifies of friends and family and caregivers. And in your case, that actually now is creating a network of volunteers from the Village to Village network to, to quote, watch out for each other. Uh, there's a wonderful sense of calm that family members and caregivers have knowing that their parent is safe, that the parent is wearing their My Notify device, and that not only are they notified in the event of a fall, but a volunteer from a village to village network who lives right nearby is also notified and can be there. I think our collective goal for both My Notify and village to village is to keep seniors out of hospitals and out of ERs and out of ambulances and things like that. So um, as you'll see with the product when we show the commercial, we are only using technology that we've all started to learn about and use every day. Uh, the ability of a smartphone interface with GPS technology, interface with motion detection, uh, is, is really what our product is all about. It, re it allows people to remain at home and to remain safe. And as you'll see, it we think is pretty affordable prices. So let me share this with you and hope that you can all see it. Are you or someone you love at risk for a fall? One in four seniors will fall this year. Who will you notify? Now there's My Notify, the breakthrough fall detection Bluetooth technology that notifies your family, friends, and neighbors automatically if you fall or need assistance. You want to send a message to your emergency chat? With My Notify, there are no far away call centers, no speaking with an unknown operator, no waiting for emergency response, no need to push a button and call for help, and best of all, no monthly fees ever. My Notify can instantly and accurately detect when you fall and precisely where you fell. And if there's a fall, My Notify immediately sends an alert to your network of family, friends, and neighbors. And it still notifies them even if you are unable to respond. Other alarm systems can cost over $49 every month. That's $588 a year, and it never ends. Not with my Notify. Just one easy payment, and help is on the way. We're right next door. We're on our way. Call now or go online to order your My Notify. There's a special group discount off our regular price of $249 to $179, plus a $10 donation to the Village to Village Network for every wearable order. If you don't have a smartphone, no problem. The My Notify in-home hub makes it easier than ever to stay safe and notified. You can sign up as many friends, family, and neighbors as you like. There's no limit. Everyone gets notified within seconds of a fall. For just one price and no monthly fees ever, you can stay safe and stay notified. Notify, 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 notify. Okay, so that's our, our product. And it is the first one that has no monthly fees ever. So it's a one price, one time product. What's interesting too, is we've learned from people asking us to provide a product that's discreet. If you look at the picture on the slide, you'll see the little small device to the right. That actually is, if you will, the brain that, that uh, is my notify. And it can go into that little clip that you see there. And that clip can clip onto your belt, your bra, your shirt pocket, uh, or it also can pop out and pop into the wristband and wear it is that way. It automatically detects a fall uh, and sends an alert plus the GPS location to your friends, families, and neighbors. And that's very important. We learned that so many people fall either in their backyard or within a couple houses away from their own. And typically one of the one of the most common reasons why seniors will fall is they're walking a dog and they have that leash and it's dark and the dog kind of gets caught up in their legs. 
if, if a senior falls in the backyard, many of these devices, there's no way to communicate to it. So this product solves that problem. Uh, when the people who are in the circle of notifies are in fact notified via a text alert, it'll actually show the GPS location to where the person is. So each and every person in their circle gets notified at the very same time. They can communicate to each other and say, I've got it, I'm a street away, or I'm, I'm actually pulling into mom's driveway now. So, they, so they, the others can determine who it is that's going to quick and go over and, and, and check in and see what's happening. And they all can keep each other updated throughout the process. Uh, the key that we had said is that you get to create your circle of notifies. And that's what's important to, to the village to village network because um, the people that you trust the most are who you want on your circle. Each of the people who are in the circle of notifies has to have a smartphone. The senior does not. The senior has their, their device with their wearable and they also have an in-home hub that we'll talk about in a second. But the senior actually doesn't need to even need to have the, uh, the smartphone. But the people in the circle do because they're the ones who receive the notification. So they like, normally the seniors like to have their family members listed. They like to have their close friends listed and their neighbors on either side of them or perhaps across the street. But the one little thing that we're adding to it, which is uh, getting a lot of popular response, is that various village to village network volunteers who honestly don't even know the people, but know that they live geographically close by, are volunteering and saying, hey, this is really what, what our whole idea is about, communities managing their own and, and supporting and watching out for each other. And they're actually saying, go ahead and put my name on their list. So in the event that they have a concern or a fall, uh, I too will be notified. And that's a, a pretty neat story in itself about how uh, the real village to village support network is working. Um, as we had said in the video, we are actually not only reducing the price for all village to village network members, but we're also going to be making a donation back to your uh, uh, efforts to assist you with future conferences and, and assist you in any way we can. So that's happening right now today on every single one that's, that comes in through the village to village network. Uh, we have the app on the phone, and that's very, very important because we actually have an app inside our uh, of the smartphone that can actually uh, take them through a set of preset video guided uh, exercises. And these exercises are called Otago exercises. And the idea behind them is that they actually improve flexibility, they improve strength and balance, and help seniors who are at risk of falling to, to keep them from falling in the first place. In addition to that, we provide, when, any, when anyone buys one, we provide what we call an in-home hub, which is the little picture you see to the right. And that's really nothing more than a modem that goes into their home. And that modem allows them to walk freely around the house without having to worry about a smartphone nearby. It'll actually work in a perimeter around the home, outdoors. So it'll actually work if, if they're in the backyard or they're in the driveway or they're a house or two away working with uh, uh, or walking their dog. So it's, it's another way to make sure that they stay safe. Uh, so to, to recap what the product does, uh, there are no monthly fees. It's one price, $179 one time and no ongoing fees. There's no far away call center. There's no waiting for EMT response. Literally, the people are all notified simultaneously within five seconds of, of someone falling. Uh, there's no equipment installations or maintenance that's necessary, no contracts, no embarrassing bulky pendants, and all of those things, we believe, are answering questions that seniors have had. So obviously, what can our village do? Well, the, the most important thing that we want all the village to village network uh, members to do is to share the message that there is a product out there that's affordable, that allows you the freedom to wander around your property. You don't have to have uh, be within sight of this box on the counter and that there's no ongoing monthly fees. I, I mean, we believe that uh, uh, every senior at risk, over, certainly over the age of 80, should have a fall detection device 
around uh, their neck or on their arm or clipped to their belt. We really do that for, for, for all the right reasons, for all the preventive protection reasons, but most don't. Second thing you can do is share that if they buy MI Notify that we can actually coordinate with village to village volunteers who will also agree to sign up. And then the third thing of course is that uh, with every My Notify that any village to village member buys, we make a donation back to your network uh, to assist everybody throughout. So to recap, uh, uh, I'm sure that as you communicate to people in your village uh, about this, this one-time payment, no fees ever, fall detection device, there's going to be questions. There's going to be questions from the seniors themselves. So uh, you can go to mynotify.com. You can call our 1-800-LINE, one one which a lot of seniors prefer to do. They love to speak with a live person and we have an entire team of people headquartered in San Angelo, Texas that talk to people all day long. And that we also have a special promo code V2V that we use to make sure that they get that $70 discount off of the normal MSRP. And that also the V2V promo code will trigger the $10 donation to your network. So. So, I mean, it is an issue that is growing. Uh, I think, uh, as we all know, the reason that Village to Village is, is, is growing as fast as it is is because 10,000 people become seniors every day. Uh, that will continue every day for the next decade. Uh, by the year 2023, there's going to be more people in America over 65 than under 18 which is the first time that's ever happened in the history of our country. And that we uh, collectively need to provide the tools and innovative tools and affordable tools for these people as they age. And so we have a neat little idea and, and, and we just want to share it with each and every village to village leadership team in hopes that you would share that message with yours that, Hey, there's something that works that's proven successful and it's uh for the first time ever in our mind, it's affordable for the people that are there. So with that, I open it up to any questions that anyone may have. I guess my, this is Judy, and I guess my first thought is how do I roll it out to our group? My second thought is, um, do you have any testimonials for us from other people who have used it? Yes, Judy, if you go on mynotify.com, and of course there's an I, not a Y in the end. That was one of our fun little branding things we did early on. There's several testimonials on there. Uh, we actually have video testimonials from several people. So, so that's all on our website. I guess what I would, uh, uh, Travis, we're going to upload this to the My Notify uh, website as well so that they can show it to their other people because it is a, we, we, we made a custom version of this for the My Notify world, and so you want to show them the actual video that we showed. Um, if not, I can certainly email the, the two-minute uh, uh, TV spot to you, and you can share it with your teams. Uh, right. What I am doing now, Judy, I can tell you, is that about once a week, a village-to-village -village leadership team will call, and I'll have a phone conference or even just a, a little mini-webinar for them around a table with their own team, perhaps as part of, of, of a meeting they may be having. That sounds good. Yeah, it's a, it, at this point, it's just about sharing the message that fall detection is becoming a bigger problem. Three million a year of visits annually. Um, there, uh, depending on the village, some villages actually have on uh, staff physical therapists or at least have relationships with physical therapists. We do know, new news, that the Otago exercises that we've embedded into the, the smartphone uh, actually qualify for Medicare reimbursement. The product itself does not yet, but we're working on it. And the reason we believe that we have an opportunity to get Medicare reimbursement is that it is a one-time, uh, I'll call it a DME product, one price, one time, where all of our competitors are really not, they are the ongoing monthly service kind of call center fee product and therefore none of them qualify for reimbursement. So we do believe we're different than that. And obviously that would be a game changer. If we ever got to a point where there's a CPT code for reimbursement, 
uh, we'd share that through Barbara and Travis and the team at uh, B2B to all of you immediately. Hello, I have a question. Can Hi. you hear me? Yes. My name is Paul Ludquist. I'm the technology officer for my neighbors in Western North Carolina. And I noticed that it's a modem, so that means it has to be connected to something. So what is the technical requirement that the senior has to have? A landline or a cell phone? <laughs> Uh, if the senior has a landline or they even have just an internet connection in their home, then the mode hooks into that. Uh, I would say that most every one of our thousands of seniors out there who have these do have a smartphone. But every now and then we come across someone who does not have a smartphone, so it hooks up to the modem that just basically hooks up to your uh, internet connection. No, I said I can hear somebody that has three pages. Yeah, one is the interested persons list, one is the whole non member name. I think somebody's having a conversation here. Uh, Ole or O L E, I'm going to go ahead and mute your mic. You're not going to. Yeah, I can do that. Um, Paul, did you have any other questions? No, I think I understand. And it is that they really do need an internet connection of one sort or another. If it's over a wire of one sort, uh, they plug that ethernet connection from your modem into their router. Exactly. And, and if it's only a if cell they phone. don't have a smartphone. Say again? That's only if they do not own a smartphone. If they have a smartphone, then they don't necessarily need the hub. But most people who, who have both have the flexibility if, if, let's just say, they spend 90 plus percent of their time at home or around the home, then they don't have to have the smartphone nearby. They can just have the hub. Okay, let me ask a further question. If they do have a smartphone and their their smartphone is with them on their person and the device, then if they fall some distance from home, a mile or two away, it still notifies, correct? Correct. As, as a matter of fact, we've had people in foreign countries with their smartphone and they've been able to notify their circle. That makes sense. Okay, back to the hub situation. I think you said Bluetooth, and I believe that's six meters, or could it be further, and I'm confused. It is further, and believe it or not, we are in conversations right now with a uh, cell tower corporation to literally make it part of all their cell towers. So, so each and every year, we're finding that we're able to have more and more distance between the device and the hub. Uh, and so uh, uh, I am told it's uh, at this point, it's a circle of as, as much as 600 yards around the home right now. And Excellent. Soon it's going to be much bigger. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that's where we know so many of the people will fall. They, they, they will fall at home, but not always next to the bed they they fall in the back steps they fall the front steps you know get the post box by the driveway things like that so you need to have a circle around your property to interface with the hub okay one last question or i hope it's last um a gps location might not mean too much to anything so in the app does for the notified persons does it give them a map yes it does excellent Yes, it does. And not only that, it, it, it can actually be uh, uh, shared with the EM if, in fact, you need to call the uh, uh, ambulance. Yeah, it looks just like you would look on a GPS when you're looking at uh, trying to identify where a restaurant is, for example. Well, that's different. For when I think of GPS, I'm an old guy and I just think of coordinates. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Yeah, that, that does not get the job done. So, no, yes, you have, you have very good design. This is the flashing dot that you see on like Google Maps. Yes, we love it. Okay. John, this is Judy again. A lot of our people have 
difficulty using their smartphones, what would be required of them? Let's say someone is not very adept at using them, but they would like to uh, have the protection of my notify. What does it require from them? Well, we, we think each and every uh, uh, quarter we improve our product for that very reason, Judy. We initially had the product where it was only uh, uh, interfaceable with a smartphone. So if in fact they fell, they needed to like let everybody know via the smartphone. Well, we changed that by adding the hub. Now we've changed it even further. If, you, if, if I may, if you're still looking at the slide, I can take you back to this slide right here. If you look at the little device on the right and you see the band, you'll notice they've got two buttons on there. They mm. actually have a red button and a gray button. The, uh, they could actually fall down in the backyard and not have their smartphone nearby and not have their uh, uh, hub nearby. And uh, they can alert anybody by pushing the red button. It will, if they fall down, that device on their arm or on their belt will buzz and it will buzz loudly telling them that the device thinks that you have fallen down, have you fallen down. If they just whack their arm up against the garage door by mistake, they push the gray button and say, no, 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 I did not fall down. Thank you for reminding, but no, I'm okay. If they have fallen down and they're out cold, it'll buzz on them. And if you do not answer them, it'll wait 30 seconds and it'll buzz you a second time. And if you do not answer after 30 seconds, it automatically assumes you have indeed fallen down and that you definitely need help and it triggers your entire circle. So in effect, you, you don't need to do anything once you are wearing the product. The product comes with a, a, a wireless charger and the product has enough juice in it probably to last about four full days without charging, but we teach our seniors to charge it. If a senior forgets to charge their device and the battery inside goes down to 20% juice, it buzzes and it alerts them and it says, you're low on juice, you need to charge me. If it continues to go without being charged and goes all the way down to 10%, it not only buzzes them again, but it notifies everybody in the circle. Hey, mom refuses to charge her my notify. And somebody please call her and let her know she has to charge it. It's all the way down to 10% juice. So we think we're thinking through the psyche of, of you know, what are they capable of, of dealing with and how easy can we make it. And each new iteration of my notify gets easier and easier and better and better for them. So if I understand correctly, you can use the modem in the home and approximately 600, radius of 600 yards, and yes. then, use, then use your smartphone if you're going beyond that. Exactly. Good. I have a question. When do you, this is Joanne, when do you suggest that they do charge it? Uh, I think, Joanne, that if they get in the habit of charging it like every 72 hours, you don't want it to get all the way down to 20%. But the fact is, is that it'll, it, you know, if, if, if it gives them two notifications, then they do it. Uh, obviously, charging it means taking it off and, and they place it on top of the charging pad. So uh, we ask them to charge it while they uh, uh, are in a spot where, you know, they're sitting down but not sleeping because if they fall out of bed, we don't want that. But we want them to be awake and alert but safe and sitting while they charge it. So oftentimes we say, make sure you have your charger right next to your favorite chair. If you're going to watch a television show, it does not take long to charge it. But, it, it you know, the fact is, is it, it like any device, it needs to be recharged in order to, to interface with all of your notifies. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We are available at any time 
for any village network whenever you're having a board meeting or you're having any kind of a, a group event and you want to share the, 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 the issues of, of falling down, fall detection. I'll, I'll share one more interesting tidbit about some of the things we're learning. If you have a, a different device that notifies 911 and, no, and 911 calls an ambulance and 20 minutes later, the ambulance arrives at your home. Oftentimes, by that time, you've, you've kind of collected yourself, you're sitting up, you may have an ice bag on your elbow or your head and you're, you're okay. And the ambulance arrives to your home. If you refuse to go to the hospital with them, you have to pay for their call. If you go to the hospital, Medicare typically pays for your trip to the ER. But if you summon an ambulance to your home and then say, I'm okay, I don't have to go, uh, many, many, most of the time, let's put it that way, a very few of the uh, uh, healthcare insurance providers will, will cover that, but you end up paying that bill and most people have no clue that they're agreeing to that when that ambulance driver leaves. And it's about 800 bucks. I like the idea of a lot of it a lot, John. Uh, and I'd like to possibly roll it out to a fall prevention group, uh, which is countywide, and they're fall prevention professionals. And I think they'd be interested in learning more about it. Great, that'd be great, Judy. And and, and because you were on our webinar today, you just let us know. And if you want us to. Uh, provide a my notify to this group to review and look at that they don't have to go by you let us know that as well through travis and we'll we'll, we'll do what we can to help support you that's a thought great thank you john mm -hmm. john thanks a lot for this uh information and uh again i'll i'll post this webinar to our website uh, or I'll make it available for anyone who wants to see it again or who hasn't seen it. Um, just uh, also check and make sure nobody else has any more questions. Well, I thought of one question. You talked about having it updated from time to time. Is this something that can be done over software across the internet? Uh, yeah, Paul, I think that is happening. But right now, I think w w the, ch the changes we've made actually uh, changed the actual construction of the product. Like uh, first generation didn't have the buttons that allow you to push them themselves. And so uh, each, each new software adaption goes into the, obviously the, the inside of the product. So, so far, uh, we're making changes. For sure, we're making changes to the app all the time. We're making the app that's, that's, constantly updated on the smartphone, easier to work with, the Otago exercises, how you notify, how you even set up people on the app. It's getting easier and easier each time we learn. So, But we also have a pretty sophisticated team that supports uh, in Texas. So whenever anyone buys one, we almost encourage them from the beginning, feel free to call us and, and let us mentor you through the setup because we know that's our target audience. And we know oftentimes uh, the, the children buy it for them. The children in their 50s buy it for their mom and dad. They are, get it in the mail. And what is it? How do I work with it? So we're sensitive to that from the very beginning. Thank you. Thank you all for being part of the webinar. And uh, anytime anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you, John. Thank you, Judy. Thank you all. Thanks, Travis. Thanks, John. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Thanks.